In his days as Dr. Crank, he was the famous Whitby ghost walker, entertaining groups with ghoulish tales. The pandemic meant the tourists and visitors vanished, so the job did too. Dr. Crank now works from home as himself, Carl, repairing bikes. He's gone from spooks to spokes. The bikes have got to all be fixed absolutely perfectly, and this is what I like doing. I like making sure everything is working absolutely spot on. With many more people taking up cycling through lockdowns, Carl has found himself in the right place at the right time. You can't just sit back and do nothing. You know, we're all capable of doing more things than we think we are. If you want to make money, work for somebody else, that's, that's a fact. But if you want to enjoy life, work for yourself. In York, another career change. After months working from home, staring at a computer screen, Emily decided to swap recruitment for green fingers and is now a budding florist. I was really noticing that my mental health was a lot better um, when I was outside. I'm glad I've taken the plunge. Um, I think it was time to do something different. It is really weird that I've done this. Um, and I think when you start to get things in the actual ground and a polytunnel, and you've got a website and people are kind of messaging you. So I've created quite a community on Instagram and things. That's really weird. Emily counts herself lucky she's been able to start her own business. For some, there are silver linings in the current dark clouds. I think there's some positives in this, not just the flexible working, but the opportunity to reflect and think about your future uh, in life generally, whether it's your job or your relationships, I think it's, it's, I think it's a healthy period of time. It really is a reset button time. And when this is all over, there could be another round of resetting for many. Bike repairman by day, Carl could even resurrect his ghost tours by night. Peter Lane, 5 News.